same. This one's used, but you can see the, the Solus impellers are very shiny, uh, chrome-like impellers, um, which is beautiful and, and looks really very, very cool. Shiny is not fast. Hi, boys and girls. John with Rock County Jet Ski, Watcon.com. Welcome to Watercraft Talk. Today's video, um, I'm, I'm kind of doing these videos lately based on questions and, and, and you guys asking uh, about our services and things, and I, I wanted to talk a little bit about our blueprint service. It's that time of year, people are getting race boats ready to go, and um, we, we blueprint impellers here. So I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the, the benefits of uh, a tuning an impeller. Um, I'm not the only one out there doing that. Uh, Glenn at Impros, of course, everybody knows about. He's really very, very good. Um, I would never want to take anything away from him. He's awesome at, at impeller repair and, and blueprinting. Um, we, we offer the service here as well. And if you're getting other things from us and, and would want to have an impeller blueprinted, um, feel free to ask. There is, uh, uh, on my website, we do have a uh, impeller blueprint service um, what do you call it? A, a button, I suppose. You can add to the to the shopping cart, and you can order the service right online. If you do that, I just ask that you please tell me. I need all your information um, uh, about your ski and and what you're doing and and what your goals are. So I literally just finished this one up. This is for a customer down south who is racing a Sea-Doo Spark. Um, so uh, these, the Solus impellers are, are good impellers, but out of the box, you will be surprised how they do not measure correctly. Uh, the blades don't match necessarily, and, and I've even had different, different impellers, uh, the same part number, measured differently. So it's kind of important if you're, if you're serious and want the best performance, it's kind of important even on a recreational boat, if you're not racing, to, to blueprint the impeller and dial it in. I, as I say. Um, what I did on this particular one, and I'm not going to give up all my secrets because uh, there's certain things we do that I don't want to discuss. But this one, um, we have found, I will say, this starts out, this is a Solus Concord, and it is a 1217 out of the box. I make some major changes to it. We've done a lot of testing, and, and we've got some local sparks racing that I sponsor and that we've set up. Um, this particular one is your standard Riva Stage 1 tune, uh, remap of the ECU, uh, ribbon delete, um, cold air intake, blah, blah, blah. This is Stage 1 stuff. And we've, we've got a lot of these boats out there. And I got a lot of local people racing. And, and we've done a lot of these impellers. And I've, I was able to do a, a lot of testing. And, and we found out what really, really works. So I changed the leading edges. I, I start with a 1217. I'm not going to tell you what I make it. Um, but we changed the leading edges. I changed the trailing edges. Um, I spec it to how I want it to be. And, and, then, and then we add our lab finish. And this is important too. And Chris, if you want to come in uh, and look, I've got another Solus Concord here. I don't have another Spark Impeller to compare, but this is just another, this is a Solus Concord and it is uh, something. It's ST, so that's a Sea-Doo prop too. Not that they're all the same. This one's used, but you can see the the Solus impellers are very shiny, uh, chrome-like impellers, um, which is beautiful and and looks really very very cool. Shiny is not fast. Water. I used to drag race boats back in the in the nineties. Um, we were running hard outboard boats, and and you never want a shiny surface on anything that touches the water. Um, water adheres to a shiny surface. I, I tell people if you if you wax your your car or your truck and you and you drop water on it, it's going to bead and it sticks to the surface. So we do what we call a, a lab finish. Um, I knock the sheen off of the impeller. I, I make it so it's not chrome shiny, and water does not stick to this now, and it will run right off, which is what you want. Um, water sticking to it is, is load, and, and it's not good. It slows it down and creates drag. So we add this lab finish. Uh, after I measure the impeller and, and change it to what I want it to be, 
we do this this lab finish. So I charge, I, well, I'm not gonna say what we charge for that. Go to the WatCon website, watcon.com, under impellers, and you will see our blueprint service and, and the price will be listed there. Um, I really don't think there's anything else that you need to know. I'm, 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 We've got, we've got impellers that we do for, sparks are a very common one. I do them for the Yamaha EX. Uh, we do a lot of super jet ones, um, but we could blueprint just about any impeller, honestly. 550 stuff I can't, I can't do because uh, um, it's, it's tapered. The, the intake shoe and, and wear ring are tapered and it's a cone style impeller and I don't bend on those. I would leave that to Glenn at, at Impros. Uh, so. Keep that in mind if you need to help any help with your impellers, uh, whether you're racing or you just want to get the most out of your recreational ski, I'd be happy to help you out. You can always reach out. All of my contact information is at the website, watcon.com. Uh, email, phone number, uh, feel free to call or email and I'd answer any questions that you have. I hope you find that informative. I hope you like what you see. If you do, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Please like, tag, share, and follow. And as always, be nice to each other. And later on, hopefully, we'll see you out in the water.